Okay, exciting times guys, having a lot of fun with these experiments, uh, just with simple magnet, some water, electricity. Okay, this setup here, I have a steel rod going through a board, and that rod we have a wire which I've tied vertical up to the roof, and then goes back down through our amp meter over there, into the power supply negative. So our pole here is going to be our cathode. Our anode is still our copper plate on the bottom of the bath, running through the wires into the positive side of the power supply. On here, oh, it looks nice and blue, doesn't it? That light's probably not so good. But not much I can do about that. It's probably worse. We have our magnet. Have a bit of water on the outside of the container. And I don't know why that uh, light is so blue. Maybe the battery's going down in power a bit. It's going to hook up the uh, battery charger to it. Try not to knock over my coffee while I'm doing it. Switch the battery charger on. Didn't seem to make much difference. A little bit. Okay, so we have our magnet on there, and I've drawn a spiral around the magnet. This is uh, Tim Man's new way of making a homopolar motor. That should not work. Our conductor is now the water, which completely surrounds the magnet on all faces. Um, now these experiments of course are based around a member of OU.com by the name uh, Theorosis Poffus, I hope I got that right, a bit hard to pronounce, but um, this is something I found along the way in the experiments based around his works on the vortex. Um, created at each end of a permanent magnet and as we've already seen it does not work with an electromagnet. So we have the magnet which has a screw attached to it which is magnetically attached to the steel pole or rod which in a uh, homopolar setup would be a battery and then we would normally have a wire coming off the top side of the battery going around to the side of the magnet but in this case it's going to be the water that surrounds the complete magnet doing that same job so what's going to happen will it actually spin like this well let's switch it on and have a look three two one and there you have it the magnet is rotating So that is 31 volts at 1.7 amps at the moment. And of course if we swap the polarity it goes in the opposite direction. But what also happens is nice green snot starts peeling off the copper plate and heading towards the magnet. But because the magnet is spinning, it cannot stick to it, so it just fills the water up with snot. So, um, we'll do that little bit of the experiment last. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to sit the camera down. And I'm going to move the magnet all the way across the other side of the tank. Away from the copper plate. So it is no longer over the top of the copper plate and we're going to turn the power back on and as you can see once again the magnet is spinning quite fine.
So that is Tin Man's new Homo Polar motor, the Aqua motor, an electric motor that needs water to run. I do have um, bubbles coming off of the plate. The reason for that is because some of the nickel coating, I guess it is, from the magnet is starting to attach itself to the plate. The plate is beginning to go silver or the same colour as a magnet which is an electroplating process which seems to work very fast when there's magnetic fields involved so I'm just going to slide that back over switching back on and there we go spinning quite nicely there so instead of the um, magnet being held in position and the bubbles and water spinning around the magnet we now allow the magnet to spin freely and you can see that the water and the uh, bubbles don't really know what to do Tin Man's Aqua Homo Polar Motor that shouldn't work but does okay so what we'll do now is going to swap the polarities over on our power supply Our magnet has now become the anode, copper plate is now the cathode, going to switch it on, that was spinning counterclockwise if we were looking down on top, and you can now see that it's spinning clockwise if we were looking down on the top. And no bubbles around the magnet now, and very little bubbles coming off of the plate only on the very corners I have no doubt that will change soon when all that green stuff starts peeling off of the copper the copper oxide and we can see floaties starting to pop up in the water now but there you go ammo polar motor running underwater using the water itself as a conductor which covers every point of the magnet totally surrounds it now we got some rubbish peeling off the plate and you can see that our magnet's starting to go a bit green or you may not be able to see but it certainly is off and swap the polarities over once again which I'm doing here straight at the power supply and we now have the copper plate as the anode and the magnet which is <laughs> nice and green now with the cathode we'll fire it up again and there we go, it's just spat all the green stuff off. Mm-mm, yummy. Now here's an electric motor for a boat where you just chuck the whole electric motor in the water and away you go. Alright guys, well, let's see how we go with um, some explanations to this. Do we have to rethink how a homopolar motor actually works? Is it the actual spin coming out of each end of the magnet that is causing the rotation?
interesting stuff for sure. Thanks for watching.